Good morning, new 1%. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with another yet another video, guys. Go ahead and do everything that the algorithm likes. Go ahead and join the Patreon down below. Let's get this show started. So we're talking about the V Chain Financial Report Q2, Q3, 2024. I know I'm a little bit late, but let's get right into it. So uh, they go on to talk about you know transparency and all that good stuff that we like to hear. The latest edition of the financial report is combined into one, covering the second and third quarter of 2024, following the launch of our new sustainability app, Ecosystem V Better, and the DAO that governs it. Community input, governance, and transparency have been more important values than ever. Your steadfast support are helping propel VeChain to loftier heights as we drive a new frontier for adoption through our sustainability app platform. With governments increasingly focused on the regulatory aspects of digital assets combined with the increasingly positive market conditions, the outlook of crypto markets is imp improving considerably. And as we know what happened earlier this week, a new regime's coming into office, which seems, you know, they could lie, but they seem to be um, non-hostile to crypto. And as we're gonna see later, uh, the markets reflect that. Um, the approval of Bitcoin ETF in Q1 marked a notable shift in tone from the SEC, uh, who subsequently approved, approved the ETH spot ETF in May. And they're talking about an XRP one. I even seen one for Solana and Cardano. I don't know how true those are. So let's get into the numbers here. Um, the VeChain Treasury was valued at Three hundred and four million in Q two twenty twenty four, and two hundred eighty seven million by the end of Q three twenty twenty four. Not bad. As we continue our journey evolving in 2024-2025 market, we're confident for our processor growth, our financial trajectory, and our ability to secure a treasury that will enable long term fiscal runway, allowing us to pursue all necessary ventures to see the fulfillment of our grand objective: mass adoption. So we talked about a balance sheet earlier here. Most of their money is in uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and VeChain. Uh, and, you know, this balance sheet goes up and down pretty much with the crypto. Uh, notable drop in stablecoin uh, balances here in Q2. Um, that's a little bit uh, alarming, but uh, they, they have to make payroll. So it is what it is here. Expenses sheet. I like to. Uh, I like that they're spending a decent amount on marketing and PR. Uh, looks like they're spending the most of their money on marketing and PR, which is definitely a good thing, especially as we get into the bull run. I think a chunk of that is probably our deal with uh, the UFC, which I still love to see it. I still uh, love watching uh, the fights and seeing V Chain pop up there. We got ecosystem operations, decent budget as well. Uh, tech ops, about three million. Ecosystem business development, about one million. For a total of twenty-six million dollars uh, in total revenue here. So, but I do like that PR budget. We need to get this more. I mean, I know <laughs> we're crypto here, but when we when we get to the bull run, I think this should be double. Uh, of of what we need we we have the products we now need to market those products uh so that was q2 uh this was q3 spending amount here uh, looks like they spent a little bit more on ecosystem ops a little bit more on tech ops um they spent a lot less this quarter as well at 13 million so a portion of these funds is ecosystem development early stage planning and consulting that's what business uh, DevOps is. This software not only supports ecological development of eBetter DAO, but also helps build a stronger community for VeChain and fosters share commitment to environmental protection. Legal and finance, that's pretty much self-explanatory, so we're just gonna skip past that. So uh, the 12 million USD Q2 and Q3 spending in PR is divided for expenses for event sp sponsorships, Partially expense for V Better DAO supporting services is including costs related to organizing events such as venue, speakers, logistics, 
promotional activity as well as funds allotted for sponsorship fees compared to Q1. There's been a significant increase, primarily driven by sponsorship of UFC Hive and Hackathon held in San Francisco <clears throat> during these events. We are fortunate to collaborate with Talented <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and motivated uh, individuals and teams who are helping us build the future. Tech Ops, um, covering a range of activities, salaries, payments to consultants, subscription services, uh, infrastructure, all that, and ecosystem ops, pretty much the same thing. Uh, outsourcing development tools, salaries, uh, just all around business expenses there. So definitely pretty cool. Uh, shout out to VeChain for, for posting this. They don't have to post this. Uh, so I really, really appreciate them for, you know, an attempt at, uh, transparency, um, something that you really don't see in a lot of crypto communities. And that's why I'm still here, you know, cause I think that VeChain uh, actually is about it and they're actually trying to get mass adoption and, uh, yeah. Uh, so we have here a uh, V chain. Imagine you could keep a record of every single tiny action or piece of information, like how often you recycle or pick up trash at almost no cost. Now, because we can track and quantify these actions so efficiently, they become valuable assets. Uh, there are so many actions happening. These verified records add up massive collective impact with v better v chain is turning sustainability into a good thing to not just a good thing to do but a real economic engine uh by integrating actions into a digital framework v better fosters a culture of accountability and new avenues for market growth let's take a look at this video here by antonio senatore v chain has always been kind of at the forefront for for, for adoption so gathering users rather than than fancy tech solution per se uh, but use technology to serve, to serve users. The focus now is attracting users that care about the environment, care about themselves. Our focus is being able to tokenize the sustainability actions of everyone using this ecosystem of apps uh, and making sure these users on a daily basis, they wake up in the morning, they start using the apps. As I do, I wake up in the morning, I take a picture of my mugshot, so I drink my coffee from a reusable mug, uh, I do shopping, uh, online and I send the receipt using green card for instance which is an app which you can receive your rewards f from buying organic products and vegetables and then I take my steps it's a constant thing we all right guys let's go ahead and wrap things up here uh, big big price movement here from Bitcoin um, Bitcoin is just blasting through all-time highs right now with the news of the uh, new president of the United States Donald Trump I think this may be the catalyst for the bull run that we have been so patiently waiting for. Um, hopefully this is it. Hopefully this is not a fake out. But uh, during a bull run, remember that, uh, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs. Okay. As we can see here, this is BNB, you know, went all the way down and came back up. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind, guys. Keep chopping wood, keep stacking, staking, and chilling. Seems like the bear market could be over. Uh, you know, uh, all we need to do is just see meme coins go absolutely magnificently crazy and get to alt season, and we should be good to go. Now, typically, I think I'm going to talk about this tomorrow, uh, the bull run mechanics, because a lot of you guys are new coming into the market here. Bitcoin pumps first, then it goes to Ethereum. They both get to all time highs. And then once those whales start selling Bitcoin, then alt season happens. So it goes Bitcoin to ETH, ETH to Bitcoin, Bitcoin to ETH, ETH to Bitcoin. And then <clears throat> once all that wealth has been extracted, then altcoin season happens. That's when you see the Doge coins uh, explode. That's when you see the Shiba Inus. That's when you see the Pepe's the dog with hats, all that stuff start to explode and you start getting, you know, real bull market fundamentals. So uh, just keep it up. Uh, yeah, I love you guys. I'm rambling. I'll talk to you guys soon with the Cardano updates. Join the Patreon. Bye.